What's up guys? So the update is live, at least the first part. There is a, a little bit left to code, but I didn't want to delay most of the stuff for a few things. So I split the update into two updates. The first update, which is the majority of the stuff, is out. Um, so it's Zanera City. The city of Zanera's here is a little map. If you want to like pause and just sort of look at it. Or, of course, I will have the link for this uh, forum post in the description below. Uh, in order to get there, just go to Colon Colon Hall, and you'll find a fairy ring here. I, I intend to add more fairy rings in more places. It was just, like, I just, I just want to add, you know, I, it, they got to make sense. And I, I want them to make sense. I don't want to just add them. So that's that's why that hasn't been done yet. But there you go. I mean, that's a pretty simple one right there. So you've got quite a few things you can do. And um, I guess it all really depends on what your what your prerogative is. So I guess we'll just go from, we'll go from this. We'll start from over here. So... You have, this is the uh, a main fairy ring, which actually has different options than before. It has Granite Mine, which is that one mine that, um, that you, you, uh, you can mine granite. <laughs> the, it's the AFK mining method that was from the voucher. Uh, Vault Room mani mani Maniacal Monkeys, which are not added yet. Uh, that's probably one of the first things I'm going to code tonight. Um, and then you'll probably see that within the next two days or so. Basically, it's just going to be a barrage method that's not bandits. Like I'll show you. Actually, if the room is technically coded, so I'll show you what it looks like. So just be a bunch of a bunch of monkeys here, and the area will be multi. Did I ever make it multi? No, I didn't. Not yet. But so that'll be a nice little place to barrage. Uh, and then the last one was just the Orb of Light or Mount Quidmore, or whatever you want to call it. So uh, next up, we have a fairy chef over here, which does have a few things. There's also a cooking spot, which is interesting to see somebody cooking at. Uh, these are not supposed to be in the shop. I thought I removed them. I'm pretty sure that was the last thing I did, and sometimes the last thing you do doesn't get synced. Uh, they have no purpose, so don't buy them. They, they were originally a part of another idea, but it fell through, and uh, I was supposed to remove them. But yeah, just ignore those. Everything else is somewhat useful. Nuff's teleport is basically just a one-click teleport to get back to that fairy ring. So that's one of the fastest ways to get back here. I'd recommend buying that. Got a couple small items like slurp juice just to really give it a try. Uh, overloads as well. I assume I, I assume the shop would be bought out, but it's not. So that's interesting. That was kind of the logic of the shop. That's why I named it Load. Most <laughs> shop. Mushrooms. I think they heal twenty four. So that's pretty good food. Uh, but the main item we're going for is this enchanted chicken here. This is a, a pretty important item. So buy that. You got I think just food shops over here. I wanted to add all the shops. I haven't done it yet. I probably will. So. You can expect that. These bank chests should work and function correctly. Vote booth should work correctly. Yep, didn't forget any of those. Up there, there's nothing. Uh, you got a furnace over here. The furnace we'll get back to in a minute. Um, and then if we go down here, you have some otherworldly beings. I'll show you what their drops look like. Otherworld. It's not, like, you know, like, yeah, it's, 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 it's geared for, it's, a, it's, a, it's considered a medium slayer task. So it's more or less for newer players. Um, somebody's killing him. Is that the Zanaris only dude? Just somebody who's making a Zarius. Yeah, it is him. Good luck, man. That's cool. I'd like, I mean, I'd like to do more cities and, and have more opportunities for only Iron Man, because I think that they can be fun. But they're only as fun as the content that's there, so we need to make sure that there's content added constantly, and, and that it's not just added for, you know, no reason. So you have a, uh, which you can just walk through. I coded this, and then I realized you could just walk straight through it. So, <laughs> what's the point, right? You can just walk right through. Uh, we have a Cosmic Altar right here next to a bank chest. So, this is actually a pretty good starting method for training runecrafting, at least until you can do, like, um, the Astral Altar or whatever. Uh, you have the boss here. This is the Gatekeeper boss. Here is a lever you will pull to fight said boss. Here's what the boss looks like. And the leather, if you want to respawn more. Do not spawn more than one. It lags the server. There's no point. It'll kill you anyway, so don't do it. Um, I'll show you what these drops look like. Gate keeper. Boom. So these are the drops. The hammer is not currently working, but what it will do is disenchant things. So, for example, if you have a Eternal Luck of the Pugs and you want to get rid of it and make a normal Luck of the Pugs that's tradable, this will do that for free, and it's infinite uses. If you have a Ring of Wealth eye and you want to make it a normal Ring of Wealth, I have no clue why you'd want to do that, but this would work for it. If you have an augmented item, you want to remove the augment and make it a normal tradable item, boom, golden hammer. And it'll have more uses in the future. It is one of those things where 
it was designed with... I actually had multiple different ideas of where it could go. Um, and ultimately, I just decided to throw it on this boss. But I, I like the idea of it. I think it's going to have more uses in the future. It might be kind of useless right now. Um, and then for anybody who gets doubles, I believe at High Alks for 10 mil. I might have made that higher, but I don't know for sure. Let's... Can I, I don't, I don't want to it. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, there's the rest of the drops. Uh, the bass... I don't think it made it weak to anything, so you could probably just rapier it. Um, I know the original idea was to make it magic only, but I don't think I, I think I completely forgot to do that. But yeah, here's the the, the last one more time, and we will poof poof and boom. Nope, nope, nope. Then. Okay, so let's go right back to where we were. So, so in the middle of the city, you'll have the pro pro mini game. You can actually get to it, but there's no implings or anything. Um, I had a lot of weird issues, and I'm probably going to have more issues, but this is one of the things left of code, so, uh, it's just kind of empty for now. We'll leave them be. Go right back. Got some more other worldly beings to the north. You have a Slayer Master down here, which is pretty interesting. It's not as, you know, it's not like a normal Slayer Monster. You, uh, you'll see why in a Slayer, or Slayer Master, not Slayer Monster. You can get special tasks for 5 mil cash. Let me... 995. Um, let's do 6 mil just to have extra cash. I think I need to reset my Slayer task, yeah. And then let's purchase a special task. We got 11 Athanakos for 5 mil cash. Uh, I know that that's not going to be for everybody, but some people are going to like that. So, to those people, cool beans. So, with the enchanted chicken, you can bring it over here to the shrine and use it on the shrine. And this will bring you to the Fairy Dungeon, a.k.a. the Fairy Mine, however you want to word it. So you have Mythal Dragons here, which are not, um, they haven't been improved yet. I do plan to update their drops a little bit. Um, and that hasn't happened yet, so stay tuned for that. And then up here, you'll actually have some Evil Chickens, which will probably be put in the main, I'll probably put them in the main place too, just so you have more opportunity to kill them. And one of the things they'll drop is, I'm, I'm probably going to incorporate Bird's Nests and the, um, and the, the eggs and everything. I'm probably going to do all of that. So you can expect something with that and woodcutting in the next update as well. I believe you can kill them. Can you kill them? But I don't think they have... Yeah, they don't even have stats or drops or anything like that. So uh, those will be added later. But the fairy mine is indeed coded. Let's, let's see all of this nonsense. And I don't know the ID for pickaxe off the top of my head. But I have a third age pickaxe. Aha! Victory. Victory. So, so, you know what? I don't think anyone's gonna. If someone finds it, congrats. <laughs> so there was a ladder right there. I don't know if you saw me click that. Um, and then here's the mine. You can see a couple people here, uh, or I guess one person here. Immaculate. It doesn't matter which one you do, even though they're different colors, they're all the same. I just I was gonna make it like this one gold, and then make the other one over there um, something else. It's brown, so like bronze or copper wouldn't work, but. It's not really necessary. I just made them all the exact same, and it's the they all ore. So this is what it looks like to mine it. Let's go AFK and do some mining on RS3. Woo! They did the the mining and smithing rework on RS3, and it's it's pretty nice working on it. Uh, so you can see you do fill up your inventory eventually with some silver ore, and then the actual main ore, the day all is stackable. So. This is a pretty nice money method comparable to minnow fishing. Um, so, I think the chance of getting a silver is 1 in 10. So then you could really just kind of just, you know, draw however you want to do it. But this is how fast it is. I just want to show you that. So whenever you have the ore, let's spawn some more. 9632, spawn 60,000. Go back to Xenaris, which I keep forgetting to buy a certificate. Let's just spawn one real quick. I have no clue what the ID is off the top of my head. Uh, see, that was I was telling you. I did. I did change the shop definition. I oh, know. I. I guess I didn't. I'm dumb. I did. What did I do? Did I remove something completely different? I'm going to look at that shop and see if there's something missing. I know that that was the last thing I did because it was the last thing. I, it was the last thing I noticed. Or is that that was still in the shop? Okay, enough. That should just... 9025. I feel like I should have remembered that. That's a pretty easy number to remember. Yeah, that's super easy. 
So go back to Zanaris, and then you go over to the furnace. It has to be this specific furnace. Um, I'm not 100% sure if, like, this furnace exists anywhere else with the ID. But you have to be at this furnace, so just do it. Uh, and then if you ha it takes 100 at a, at a time, so you need at least a 100. So put 100. If you end up with 69,000, this is going to take you forever. I guess you could maybe just spam click. But you get some random ores. Uh, the ores it gives you, it always gives you... Um, it'll always give you two of an ore, and you can sort of see... They're, they're always matched, like runite and coal. And then we have... There's, there's the stuff to make bronze bars... There's one that's iron and coal we just got, and then there's a mithril adamant, and then there's the rune and, and coal. And the amount you can get is maximum of 100, but it's there's there's it's basically, I think you get one, and then up to 49 extra from each ore. So basically, best case scenario, you would get 40, you'd get 50 runeite ore and 50 coal uh, for your 100 day alt ore. And then you get a nice little chunk of XP as well. Um, so that's the day alt mining. A little more just to try to you know give you another idea of what it looks like. Um, so in terms of what else, what else, what else do I gotta show you? I think that's it. I think we've covered the update. So yeah, there's there's still quite a few things we we, we have left to do, but that's uh, the main thing coded for. Or that's the main things for now. So uh, really, it's just the the mining method, the gatekeeper boss, and the Slayer Master. Fair Chef has some nice items in the shop, but everything else is kind of maybe lower tier. But, uh, yeah, that is the update. There was some other, um, I guess there was, was other, other news updates. I'll, I'll go over there. Mac, Max Cape uh, has emotes now. Every single Max Cape should work uh, before you do it. Yay, emote. Um, there's a fairy mine teleport in the legendary zone. I'll show you where that is if you have LZ. And then inside the walls, you just have that same ladder that brings you to the mine. There's an other portal uh, the, in the Max Guild. Let's just go right there. I'll just show you. I'll just show you. Or the Max Guild. Go southeast. The other portal now has a Gatekeeper's Wall option, which teleports you basically right to the Gatekeeper. So, so there's that. Um, the Bone Guard Pet, Demon Pet, no longer tradable. You can now get Revenant special tasks again. The drop rate for God Wars 2 items has been slightly increased. Third Age tools and other rare items such as Party Hats and Santa Hats have had their prices fixed in the, uh, like the general value price. Um, you can create a Party Hat set now, and you can also create a Rainbow Party Hat on, um, uh, by using a Party Hat set on Wise Old Man. That'll, that'll explain those options. Uh, when you're exchanging blood runes or death runes for God Wars 2 signets, you're actually going to get three times as many. Uh, before, you would get a guaranteed one with the possibility of five total. Now it's a guaranteed five with the possibility of 15 total. So, realistically, you're guaranteed to get five more because instead of getting guaranteed one, now you're guaranteed five. But still, in total, the total amount, you have, uh, you, you can likely get three months more. Uh, and then Elune's, Elune's Crystal Rain should trigger less often. Um, someone said it worked every single time, like it was like it was glitched and it was doing it every single time. Um, in my testing, I couldn't I couldn't. There's John. Hi, John. In my testing, I couldn't really um, see that, so I'm not sure. I did make it half the chance of happening, and we'll see what that what that does. And then all four God of Wars two bosses have had their accuracy slightly lowered, and in some cases their defense slightly lowered. It was really just sort of a small change. To, I've just realized I messed up my dimensions. Oops. Really just a small change to all four of the bosses to hopefully make them a little easier to do, a little easier to manage. Um, and then again, the things that weren't coded is right here. And I'll have this link in the description for you. But uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And then just to, just to sort of talk about the last video, let's review the results. And we'll see what everyone's at. So as you can see, the yes vote is still the winning vote, but... In total, it's really 50-50. Uh, it's 50-50, it's I, I would argue. Um, we're probably not going to do anything with that. I, I don't, I'm not going to, you know, destroy 20,000 accounts because 50 people like it and 50 people don't like it. I feel like there's other things to be to be done, and one of the winning votes that's no is not yet, is that they, they, they think the server can be fixed. And I also think it can be fixed. I think there's plenty of things. I mean, just the Rainbow Party Hat, for example, just stuff like that. I think can can happily exist. So, 
Um, if you're one of those people that was really worried or, or panicked about the possible eco reset, I, I think it's it's most likely not going to happen. This poll is still around. I will link it if I can remember to in this video as well. If you want to still vote, it's it wasn't like whatever happens from this poll is what we're going to do. It was really just to completely gather your guys' opinions on the possible reset. And that's just so I don't I don't I don't look like a dictator. I look like I'm gathering your guys' opinions and whatnot because I, I I value them. I really do. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace.